I have a very important topic I want to talk about today, and that is the way wounds get absorbed and the callous tissue grows around them. Now, I've studied Dr. Alex Shigo's works, and I have many of his books, and I believe wholeheartedly in his, we should call them theories, I guess, because it's hard to prove it, but he's shown in all of his dissections of trees how the tree has areas of boundaries of protection. He's identified different boundaries, and if you cut too close, such as in a flush cut, then you're compromising an important boundary that enables the wound to be absorbed. Here's an example of a wound that was cut too close, and you can see that the inside of it has decayed excessively. So the way you make your cuts on a tree has a lot to do with the future of what this tree is all about, whether it will survive these cuts or whether the cuts will actually result in causing the decline of the tree. Now I'm showing lots and lots of examples here. Some of them are good, some of them are not so good. Some of them are absorbing the wound. They're compartmentalizing around the wound. And it's important to recognize that wounds do not heal. What they do is they absorb the cut with the new cambium tissue, but the decay or the future decay will always be inside. So I want you to look at some of these cuts and you know, I'm not showing you which ones are good and which ones are bad. I think you, le you need to learn how to identify what a proper cut is. And if you don't know, study it. See, I'm up on the bucket truck and we were able to put plywood out on the lawn to back it up without damaging the lawn. And it also gives me the opportunity to, to look at some of these wounds and get photographs. Here's an old wound that has completely grown around, but is it, did it <laughs> resolve the problem? Clearly not. So the active tissue can grow up around a wound and the inside of it can still continue to decay. In many cases, you have areas of decay that are unknown and you don't know how strong the tree actually is. Here's a cut that I had to make. It was completely dead, but the tissue is still pretty good. Note that I allowed for the branch bark collar to be retained. So hopefully that will be okay. Here's some squirrel damage. I noticed a lot of squirrel damage up here, but that's a whole nother subject. So study Shigo, study what he has talked about. There's another decay pocket from an old wound. Now here's one of his books that I highly recommend that you purchase.